Okay, these are both, what do you call a little icon, a little image associated with a company? What do you call that? What does that stand for? TM. Do you know? A trademark. Yeah? A trademark. Mm -hmm. These are both trademarks. This is the trademark, you know, for Apple Incorporated. But this is the trademark for Apple Corps. Apple Corps, the company that was founded by four very, very famous men called Paul, George, John, and Ringo. You know? Who's lost? Put up your hand if you're lost. Who's George, John, Paul, and Ringo? Who are they? Yeah, the Beatles. The Beatles. <laughs> Apple. Corpse is the name is the name of the company, the record label, the record label, which was founded or set up, or founded or set up by the Beatles. You see? Did you know that? It's quite interesting, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> but there's a problem when two companies are called Apple, there's going to be a what? A what? What's going to happen? These two companies are both called Apple, there's going to be what? What's the word I'm looking for? Conflict. A conflict, excellent. A conflict. Generally, we talk about a legal dispute. It's a synonym of conflict. A dispute is another word for argument. So we have a legal dispute between Apple Incorporated and Apple Corps. And this legal dispute has been going on for years and years and years. This legal dispute has been going on since the late 70s this trademark dispute. But despite this dispute, there's no big problem because, because why? Different industries. What's this industry? Technology. Exactly. Technology computers. What's this industry? Music. Exactly. Music. Computers, technology, music. There's no, there's no, there's no conflict There's no conflict of interest, there's no problem, there's no conflict of interest, no problem. Until what? Until what? Until something happened. Until something yes. So maybe Apple invited the uh, iPod and iTunes. Exactly. That's what it's all about. In the last few years, Apple have become more and more involved in the world of music through the iTunes store. iTunes store. Where, where do you buy your music, Duel? <laughs> you, don't, you don't have to say it because it's in a weird camera. <laughs> Put your hand up if you steal music. <laughs> Put your hand up if you buy music. Sometimes. Sometimes. Where do you buy your music from, Alessio? Shop. Shop. So you buy CDs. Hello, you, Freddy. Uh, but not iTunes. Not iTunes. Does anybody use iTunes Music Store? You do. Can you, do, you, do you like it? Is it? Does it work well? You know, what do you think of the iTunes Music Store? I think it's a good thing to take um, the music that you want to hear. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And you do as well, do you, Stefan? Um, no, um, on YouTube. Uh, it's not iTunes or you download your music yeah, on YouTube. YouTube the moment. I see. So um, yes, so this story, the story that I've 
I've got to tell you, starts on the 8th of May 2006. On the 8th of May 2006, there was a settlement. A settlement. A settlement, something, a decision from the courts, a decision from the courts which gave the green light to the iTunes music store. There was a, a settlement, a legal settlement, which gave, what did it give? Gave the what? The, what did I say? Gave the green light. green light, okay, to the iTunes music store to progress, to go ahead. Okay? But that's not our story. 